Let's get start with the proper way with the practice of the Boyle's law experiment. Now, performing the Boyle's law experiment, we have to first fill the industrial oil beside this sump tank. This is our back side of expansion of ideal gases model TH172. In this back side, as you can see on the left hand side, we are having some electrical connection equipments and our SciTech module DAQ. This is our oil sump tank, approx 30 to 35 liters. We are already having a level indicator which will show you how much amount of oil is filled inside this tank. It is made up of SS304 in a cylindrical part with a top opening for filling the oil and the drain wall with a ball wall for draining the oil. Now for filling the oil first you have to open the lead screw with the help of this spanner of 19 and 22 which I in my hand. With the help of this spanner open this. lead screw after opening it place the funnel inside it and in any container or mug take the industrial oil which is already our medium and fill it slowly slowly as the in the SS tank some tank oil is filled our level is also increasing so up to here you can fill for performing the experiment. After filling the oil simply remove the plastic funnel and close the lead screw same way as we have already opened. Accurately tight it with the spanner 19 and 22. Tightly. Now, whenever if you want to remove the oil, so we are having a drain wall. So, this drain wall is already connected with our PU transparent pipe for not directly draining the oil here. Directly, I will open this ball wall and take some container. I will take one container for draining the oil. After draining the oil, simply you have to just turn off this ball wall and clean the pipe. Now, first we will open our SciTech DAQ software. In this, we are having two windows. First is for the Boyle's Marriott law and the second one that is for the Gay-Lussac law. Now, we are performing the Boyle's law experiment. So, I am on the Boyle's law screen. In the Boyle's law screen, the another advantage of this experiment or you can say the another advantage of this application is you do not need to go to operate manually this pump on off because already we can do it with the help of this software. So it is already given here on off switch for the pump and when after completing the experiment you can turn it off with the help of this software. Now for performing the experiment first I will start with by running this application. Now, by running this application, I will click on this run button and it will show you one pop-up window. Inside this pop-up window, what we have to do? We have to write down the name by which in the Excel sheet you have to store the data. So, I will write it down test 1 or experiment 1. This file format, you have to store it inside the Excel sheet. So, I am giving the Excel sheet format dot XLS. So, this way I have already stored the file. So, all the data which I have performed after this experiment we can see or you can store the data inside this test file. I am clicking on this OK button and after running hit you can see here we are having some calculation or you can say some real time data. So one by one we will see right now our ambient temperature is around 29.34 degrees Celsius. Our pressure inside it is at 0. Our oil level as you can see here 0 because oil I have already inside the sump tank. Now our pump on off switch is in the off condition. Now before turning it on, I will go for the compression part that is you have to go for manually from this front panel, the lever you should clear it down 
on the down side on the compression side and before turning the pump i will turning out the bypass wall very smoothly after opening this bypass wall you just turn it on the pump with the help of software also i can turn it on or with the help of the manually with the help of mushroom switch i have turned on as you can see here the oil level will increase inside the glass tank as same way here also we can see the oil level inside the glass tank is increasing and after increasing the glass tank data as you can see our air volume inside the glass tank is 20 liters but our oil level is increasing 29.8 mm 32 mm as you can see it's going increasing 32 mm 38 mm now i have already opened the bypass wall fully if you want to control the flow you can go smoothly by doing the partially opening the bypass wall so what happen you will get the clear data as a seconds now the oil level is increasing it means our air medium is decreasing the oil is increasing so the air will air medium is decreasing and the air volume right now is around 17 liters but as i have already turned on the pump on the compression side oil level is increasing and the air volume is continuously decreasing now because the air volume is decreasing as you can say our pressure is slowly slowly increasing this all real time data you can see, see it in a application and in a future time we can see in a excel sheet now as you can see i have turned on the compressor oil level is slowly slowly increasing and all the data is coming inside the application window now i will stop this experiment as we have taken around 100 observations for this first i will go for the bypass wall fully closed after closing this bypass wall i will go for the lever on the off side and i can go for switching of this pump directly from the software after switching of this pump our first experiment that is boil slow on the compression side is completed if you have to see the data so for that what you have to do we have to go for the stop button which will complete our first experiment and after completing our first experiment we can see the data directly in the excel file which already we have stored inside the reports so as you can see with the date and time our all data is coming inside the excel sheet and the excel sheet like date time observation pressure one p1 bar volume in liters air volume our temperature in the temperature and the last second last two things are the pressure and temperature now as you can see in the reports in the test file we have calculated in the real time data with the help of this software and this data is now we can convert it into the charts and plots for the further further calculations this way we have completed our boil slow first experiment for the compression side now let's get proceeding toward our second experiment with the same boil slow in the first experiment we have seen while oil level is increasing our air medium is decreasing our volume and the pressure will increasing that we have already states inside the data part now comes to the second experiment that in the reverse side we will do oil level we will decreasing it means our air volume will expand and when the air volume will expand our pressure should decrease this for the performing of this uh, experiment we will see first the process now for the process first we will start with turning on the pump but before turning on the pump we will go for the 5 by 2 a wall on the vacuum side when we will go on the vacuum side first we will turn on our bypass wall and we will start our pump now before starting the pump i will again run our application for the next experiment and i will take the second data sheet as a test 2 with the same date excel as our file format and our observation has already now started currently we are having a oil level of around 140 mm approx which is consuming 15 liters of air medium 
the air medium is here in the empty space and the oil volume is inside here so oil volume is height of around 140 mm and air volume which is here which is around 15 liters as we are seeing in the man experiment now in this explanation window our already pressure which is showing with the help of this pressure transmitter is around 0.783 bar and temperature with the help of this temperature sensor is around 30 degree celsius approx now let's let's get start with the experiment first i have already opened the bypass valve on the first experiment we are go on the compression side in this experiment we will go for the vacuum side on the vacuum side all level will transfer inside the sump tank i will turn on the pump now i will turn in the pump with the manually you can go for the by software also now rotating the mushroom switch our the compressor plus vacuum pump has started but we have a lever on the vacuum side the oil level will slowly slowly decrease when the oil level will decrease our air volume will expand and when the air volume will expand our pressure should decrease that we can see here with the help of the graph also now as on the starting side we are having air volume of our 15 liters but now the oil level is decrease our air volume is increasing 16.7 around 16.8 is increasing and keep on increasing and our pressure which is of around at the time of starting of experiment 0.7 bar and now it is of around 0.6 0.592 as keep on decreasing because our air volume is increasing and this directly we can show it in a graph on the red line which is suggesting our volume the white line which is suggesting our pressure and the green one as you can see it is a horizontal line that is our temperature so the boyle's law states that pressure and volume will vary and temperature will remains constant as you can see now the oil level is keeps on decreasing it means air volume is expanding and our pressure is decreasing in the first experiment air volume is decreasing and the pressure is increasing but in the now this experiment air volume is expanding our pressure is decreasing now the pressure is around 0.3 bar as you can see the air volume is of around 18 liters at the start of the experiment our air volume is 15 liters now it is increased by 3 liters and the pressure is decreased by 0.3 bar our temperature is still constant it means it proves that boyle's law states perfectly whenever pressure is inversely proportional to the volume temperature should remains constant after for completing this experiment first what we will do we will turn it off the bypass valve smoothly now i will get this lever on the middle side it means i have cut off the 5 by 2 a valve circuit and i i will turn off the compressor and vacuum pump i have already we have collected around 120 observations i will stop this experiment and all this data is collected inside the test 02 which is collecting all this data for the vacuum side of the boyle's law now for seeing the data directly i will go to the application part test part in the test window as you can see i am having test 02 15 i will open this file in this excel file as you can see with the help of date and time we are having date time and observation is around 122 observations we have taken for the vacuum one and the pressure at a start of the experiment 0.8 bar v1 that is a volume of the air which is 15 liters air for the air and temperature is still constant 29.9 it means around 30 degree celsius and the end of the experiment around 122 hour pressure will be reduced around 0.15 because our air volume is expanding of 19 liters from 15 liters and our temperature is still constant 29 degree celsius so with the help of this data we have states that in the boyle's law pressure is inversely proportional to volume and temperature is remains constant so this way performing the vacuum part all we have completed boyle's law second experiment with collecting the successful around 120 observation data and with the manual part Thank you.